All right, many of us are hoping to be a healthier version of ourselves in the new year, and a big part of that is eating a more healthy diet. But a lot of common foods may have hidden calorie traps that you're not aware of that you definitely want to know about. Joining us today is Tracy Streeter. She's a regional director with the Medical Weight Loss Clinic to talk about some foods that you should be eating and foods that you shouldn't be eating, foods that you want to eliminate from your diet. We're going to start off down here with bread, which is a staple in my house. Got to have bread. Right. You have to have, a, as far as healthy carbohydrates, is yes. the best way to go. And if you simply make a few daily changes you can really cut your calorie consumption in half and also reduce your fat consumption just by actually switching from a regular English muffin to a light English muffin you've cut your calories directly in half on top of your how many fat grams you're consuming a day um, the same with going with a light bread um, a whole wheat tortilla much healthier choice for you and then of course a whole so that sounds like the key to go with whole wheat. As much when multi, you see whole wheat. right? As far as getting in as much fiber as you possibly can, it's just healthier for our systems overall. And then one and, of my and, favorites. And then we end up with the <laughs> chips. This is an actual serving size or one bag. Not very many. Right, not very many. The bag's only half full. The amount of fat roughly consumed in that small little bag is this small Shocking. circle here. Yeah, it just what's really amazing is that we normally eat about half this big bag. Yeah. And when we consume half that big bag, we're looking at this much fat. When you see it laid out like that, it kind of changes your perspective. It's, yeah, it's it's easy. I wouldn't want that sitting on no, my hips. No, not at all. <laughs> the better way to go is like a multi-grain cracker. You can actually still get the high fiber, cut the calories right in half, and almost eliminate the fat grams because it's the hidden calories in food that put the weight on us. It's not normally the amount of food that we okay. eat. It's the hidden so the calories. the quality of right, the food. Right, right. You know, and of course, the fruit and the rice cakes, most people would prefer to have the chips over the fruit. Sure, um, but, you know, if you're yeah. trying to be healthy, you got to make the cut somewhere. Right. One of the easiest things to do is portion size. Yes. I mean, and I did the pasta as a very good example. The front plate is one serving size of pasta. You're kidding me. No. This back plate is six about how much I eat six servings 720 calories so if you're used to eating this much how are you going to be full from just eating that or my best advice I can give is start by cutting it in half okay, okay? you have to make a, a, a decision to start someplace and with that in mind if you're used to regular salad dressing just switching to a light salad dressing you literally cut once again the calories and the fat directly in half um, and then going down to a fat free um, which actually is on the freedom program that we just um, redesigned all of our diet programs. We're really excited to be able to offer friend, uh, ranch salad dressing. But what happens is when you take the fat out, you actually, they add a little sugar. Okay. So if you're diabetic, you definitely are used to reading labels and you want to take a look because maybe fat free is not the right decision. You may want to go you. with the light. Go with the light. The this here is like a, a an actual serving size of salad dressing. Okay. This is what we normally consume, which it's if you're at least. right, if it's regular ranch, yeah. you're looking at over 500 calories. So much for a healthy salad. Um, in a restaurant, they normally you say, okay, I'm going to make a good choice and get my salad dressing on the side. The average is about 300 calories of dressing. Of well, that amount that they provide you. Correct. Your best bet is once again go with the light or the no fat or basic just vinegar um, type. And but of course veggies. Vegetables. Kale is also on our new program. We're very excited and also uh, quinoa which is extremely healthy for us. Um, it's loaded with fiber, high in protein and a much healthier um, alternative to versus what exactly pasta. is quinoa? It's an actual grain, okay. um, a whole grain is what it is. But when you make choices on your protein servings on what you consume in a day, actually increasing the amount of fish that you consume not only is healthy because of the omega 3s, but also too, you feel like you're getting more. The example that I have here is this is pork loin. Sure. Um, this is actually buffalo, which is very lean. If you were to do a beef patty, a serving is about the size of the pork loin. 
and then we've got the, the uh, cod and also the salmon. All of these four choices, relatively same amount of calories, same amount of fat content. So the key is actually making the right choices. You can continue to enjoy food. You just want to enjoy a better quality of food. Yes. Yes, Excellent absolutely. advice from Tracy Street, and you are with the Medical Weight Loss Clinic. Clinic. We will have more information on our website. That is, once again, WXYZ.com.